money versus the community wants. So you're building this association. How do you balance, okay, here's a financial opportunity, and okay, here's what the community wants, here's what the athletes have charged me with, or here's what my creative vision says we need. How do you balance those? How do you decide what direction to go? How do you decide how to prioritize? How do you work those into your decision making? And ultimately, how do you make decisions with those different, you could say polarizations, maybe? I'll try to keep it simple. There's a lot of different uh, ways we could go with that question. It's a good question. Um, I'll try to keep it succinct. Um, so basically, it's a democracy. Very simple. I own some voting rights, we'll call it. The community owns some voting rights. And then our business partners and investors own some voting rights because everyone's coming to the table with something unique. So they get to be heard for their uh, individual uh, you know, strengths and, and weaknesses, actually. Right. So when the athletes are coming to us, we say something like, okay, guys, uh, what do you want? Oh, well, I want ABC. I want to get sponsors or I want more promotion on my YouTube channel. Or I just want to be able to um, get a good uh, job at a trampoline park locally because that's that's actually really easy for me and low hanging fruit, whatever it is. We say, okay, well, then if this is what you want, then let us help you get that. They basically it's more like a menu. So you can think of the FTA more like a store. If we're going to have a, uh, a, um, a metaphor, it's like a Walmart, essentially. And we have lots of offerings for all different types of personalities. And people come into the store like a revolving door and they have a Walmart greeter. And that's usually me or Trish, my business. Oh, hello. Welcome to the FTA. What can I do for you? You know, oh, well, I'm, I'm here to learn how to do better snowboarding tricks. Oh, well, great. We have that over there in aisle three. Um, and here's the price ranges from free. Uh, to then really committed to where we're flying across the world working with the like the Germany Olympic team or the Ski Canada team and they're paying good money for that obviously because that's that's a more valuable product right but then Johnny over here said look I'm I'm starting my um, Marku calls me up a week before World Champs this year Marku's a flipper um, and a, a very talented one uh, he's now a videographer he's like hey Greg I want to come and I want to get a media pass at your World Champs can I come do that I'm like yeah okay great let's let's do a value trade then. Because uh, again, nothing's free. He's using essentially the stage that we're paying for and working towards to then boost his YouTube channel. But then we're also using the content that he would get. And also he already has 300,000 followers and we're asking for some reverse promotion from him. So it's okay, perfect. You come in, you got to cover your own stuff, but we'll give you the stage. We'll give you all the content that you want. You could do whatever you want. You don't have to tag us or anything. Just knowing that our stuff's in your video will still give us some ancillary benefits and all that. And he said, yeah, this is great. If he had come back and said, well, no, I want to do this or this or this, that would have been a negotiation. And we would have had to look at the, the terms of the agreement and said, okay, does this make sense financially or ethically or, you know, uh, promotionally to, you know, do this? Or is there a, a brand we can team you up with? I offered to team up with a couple of brands and he said, no, it's okay, Greg, I'd rather do it on my own. Okay. I'm offering, they take what they want. Uh, I offer what I can and they choose. And it's very simple. And then from our side, the business side, we say, okay, guys, well, you know, you have broadcasters and I'll give you a perfect example. Um, we added in a no, um, or a bonus for landing, uh, the final skill. We didn't do that before in any of the years. Cause they, a lot of them, they just land in a heap kind of thing, you know, but the broadcasters we talked to said, Hey, I don't know if they did well or not. Like, can you tell them that they have to land the final skill on their feet? So there's a clear, you know, for the uneducated audience that there's a winner essentially, or a, a good or bad. So I know what I'm cheering for. Right. And I said, so we went to the community, said, guys, we're going to offer in a bonus structure that, you know, uh, you know, BF Skinner, we're going to give you cheese if you land the final skill. I asked if they want to do it. They all said, yeah, OK, more bonus. That's fine for me. Great. OK, well, they could have said no, but they didn't. So I, I can only take their their vote, you know, uh, you know, so we take their vote. Then you see this over the last year, we saw not all of them, 80 percent of them. We started now reducing the risk of their final skill to get that bonus. So now that helps again everyone. The broadcaster got what they want because now you have a more uh, audience, uneducated audience viewing pleasure, we'll say. They understand what's going on a bit more. We actually reduce the risk, but they get an extra bonus and it actually makes it easier for them to do the skill because they can then take a little bit of a breather instead of having to think, oh God, I got to do a quint on my last skill when I'm not ready, which is bad for them as well. So all three parties win. And my decision process making a, 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 a outcome or outlook, at least, 
is always about trying to find a way how all parties benefit to the equal amount measure of what they're contributing in to what they're getting out. So there's at least an equality uh, over the board uh, over time. It obviously goes up and down. And sometimes they're volunteering with us where we're not paying them a penny, but they, and they're bringing their drones and they're helping out and setting up trampolines for six hours and they're not getting paid. But then all of a sudden we're getting them in front of millions of people on OTT channels that then validates a sponsorship that they're getting from another company, which they wouldn't get without us having done that. So in the in the wash, it all evens out. And we work very hard on making sure that they believe it, that we're trying to do it, and that we can validate why it is so Synergy. so that they keep kind it's of confirming the system. And win-wins, I think, are are the key. Too many people think Synergy. about win-lose. And I think win-wins when it comes to working with others is ideal. 